ladies and gentlemen, from the White House, the President of the United States. As you begin to consider the issues seriously in this election, you'll find that many of them present a clear choice between the candidates for president. On energy, for example, my administration has conceived a pioneering energy program that is already freeing us from dependence on foreign oil and is opening up important new energy research and development. Governor Reagan's position on energy, and I think I state it accurately, is simply to dismantle much of what we've accomplished and to turn energy decisions over to the oil companies. You can choose between these positions on November 4th. On the economy, we've taken prudent steps to control both inflation and unemployment. In this difficult period, we have not backed away from tough decisions and have not provided quick fixes. Present trends indicate that we've been on the right track. My opponent's position, and again, I think I state it accurately, is to install the Reagan-Kemp-Roth plan. It promises massive tax cuts, more government spending, and a balanced budget. Again, you can decide for yourself whether the plan is feasible. But a single monumental issue towers above everything else today, nuclear arms control. In this vital area, we cannot depend on the self-correcting machinery of American public life. With arms control, we're in a different boat, and it is not just our hand on the wheel. Unless we can help to steer the world on a path that avoids nuclear war, matters like energy and the economy will be ultimately without meaning. Let me tell you something that concerns me deeply. This nation has built and possessed atomic weapons for nearly 40 years now. We used two of them to end the Second World War, but that was back before the memory of most living Americans. We have since fought two major wars without using them and have seen many confrontations across the world in which they have not been used. So it may be that we as a people are no longer so actively concerned about the real day-to-day -day danger of nuclear war. That danger still exists. A nuclear global response has never been triggered, but it could be. Clearly, it could be. The machinery is all in place right now, and the president is the individual who controls our part of it. Well, then it is important indeed that you know exactly how Governor Reagan and I differ on this crucial issue. Again, I must be accurate. In this office, I've worked in the arms control tradition of seven presidents, Democrat and Republican, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, and myself. Though the arms buildup has gone on, though we and the Soviet Union now have enough explosive material on hand to destroy civilization, we have worked tirelessly with the Russians on this problem. We have always kept alive the effort, and there has never been a nuclear war. A few days ago, Governor Reagan said that he would scrap the arms control agreement already signed by this country and the Soviet Union. And he added, the one card that's been missing in these negotiations is a possibility of an arms race. That would be a dangerous and expensive nuclear arms race that presumably would go on while he searched for arms control measures. In this delicate area of human affairs, where millions of lives depend on a single decision, it is proper to look not at what a person will do, but what he has tended to do, what his attitude is. My tendency, my attitude, is to control nuclear arms. Before you vote, please look carefully into this deep chasm that divides Governor Reagan and myself on this issue. One more word. It is also accurate to say that a nuclear war could come with any president in the White House. The possibility cannot be ruled out. But while I'm president, the hard, hopeful work of arms control will never be minimized or abandoned. And I have never perceived nuclear arms control as a poker game in which I am playing one card or another. We are not dealing here with just another shootout at the OK Corral. We are dealing with the most important issue facing all human beings on this planet. On November 4th, re-elect President Carter. 